So this is a quick video on um, how I added a uh, small fan to my Darth Vader Black Series helmet. Um, okay, so here's what you need. Aside from the helmet, you uh, probably want to refer to a previous video on how I built this uh, particular fan setup. But I'll just give you the quick overview of what you'll need. So this is a voltage booster. Um, you can see it in the previous video, but um, I essentially soldered these points on. I soldered this wired on, wire on, and it was a pretty pretty easy build. See the other video for that, um, and it it converts uh, 3.7 volt uh, lipo battery power into 5 volt power um, to power this 5 volt fan. So you'll need a 5 volt fan. Um, this was, uh, five and a half dollars, I think. Um, and it's, I got this one specifically because it was the lowest, um, decibel, um, fan on there and it's got reasonable output. And, um, so it was the best bang for the buck and, um, keeping the noise level low. So it's at 22 decibels, which inside your helmet, that's, it's loud enough. You notice, um, it's not horrendous, but, um, after a while it may be annoying, but I also integrated a switch and I'll show you that in a second. So this is what I talk about in the previous video. I talk about these, these things here. This is a lipo battery. It's lithium polymer. Um, they're nice because they come in small form factors. Um, and they typically come with a connector like this, which is exactly what I need to connect to these wires here. And I got these, these are low voltage wires that I got with some kind of led lighting set or something like that, or I bought them in bulk. Um, I don't know what they're called, but anyway, uh, so those connect well into these, and those are the three pieces that connect to each other. Now, I've already got them put inside the helmet, but I'll just, uh, if you didn't see the previous video, I'll just quickly put this together. Let's see, red wire to red wire here. And then my LiPo battery plugs in here. And we got a fan. Okay, and so this is a 10 millimeter by 30 millimeter fan. It's the smallest one I found on um, Amazon and it's a perfect, it's perfect size. Um, there were some that were slightly larger and I tried those out. They're just a bit, a bit too bulky. They push into my cheek. So the only thing this was missing, which this, this all was in the previous video, um, was a switch. So now I'll show you um, what went inside here. So just, just for reference, if you can kind of tell, if you can kind of see down through here, there is a gap, um, under the lenses. So they do allow for, um, some essential breathing of your, um, of the heat to get out of the helmet and, um, so air to flow in. So it's not going to fog up as much. So that's, that's good. Although I have gotten this before where it started to fog up a bit. Um, it wasn't too bad, but, um, it was, it was on the brink. Um, but that was after a couple hours. So, um, on a, I'm sure on a hot day it would be different. So here's what I did. It's not, I haven't woven it all into, um, like embedded it like I did the other stuff, but, uh, this is just the initial setup. I'll see how it works out in this position. And then maybe I'll solidify it and lock it in. So I've got the fan mounted here. I just used a piece of uh, Velcro on the back and uh, put it. And I've got the direction of the fan blows this way. Now, if you're not familiar with these fans, this is not the blower. This is the intake. So your air comes in here, which so you'll see it here. That's the intake. So the air is going in there and it blows out this end. On larger ones, it'll just it'll have the entire side blocked and it'll just have like a small outlet. Um, but this one, it's the whole side is open. So that, that works. That's fine. Um, so I've got it blowing up in this direction. So mind you, again, if you can kind of tell perhaps, um, yeah, there, uh, so there's your gaps where the air can go out. Um, so this just breezes it up by the eyes, pushes some of that warm air out and, uh, it works well for me. So what I did was I just kind of wrapped it around. And again, this is kind of a tentative layout. And then here's my, um, my voltage booster here where that plugs into the fan. And then I've just kind of got it wrapped around. I've got it uh, pushed into the eyebrows. Um, so that's kind of where the wire's hiding for now. Um, and then I got it wrapped around and this is more semi-permanent on the side. So this is the new switch I added. 
Um, so essentially it's all that other stuff that I had with an additional line in between that goes up to the battery. Um, so just to show you what kind of switch I've got here, it's just a slide switch. And if you're looking them up, that's, that's what it's called. It's a slide switch. Um, uh, what I got was a side mount for the pins. Um, just a second. So it was a very reasonable price. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what it was. It was probably maybe, maybe 10 bucks or something for a boatload of these things. Um, some of them come out the bottom. These are a little bigger. I didn't want it to come out the bottom. I wanted it to come out the side because I wanted this, the switch to be able to go up, um, without pins having to go inside. So these are, these are what they look like on an individual level. So you can kind of see. And then, so how I wired it was, um, you can break off this end one. You can break off that end one. I, I kept those on, but I did break off one of these, the, one of the outside ones. So what you need to do is you need to wire a red wire into the middle. And then, you know, where you, where you cut the wire, you only cut the red wire. Your black wire goes all the way through. Um, the red wire terminates in the middle. And then you want to pick it up again off of one of these sides um, so then when you move it to that position, then it will connect these two and will send your signal through. And then when it's moved over here on this one, which you can, you can keep it or you can break it off, break it off and get it out of the way. Uh, Cause you're not connecting anything else to it. You're not powering something different. Um, when you're turned in this position, it's, I use it as an off. So I busted that one off. And then all I did was uh, solder those on, put some heat shrink on there, and then I put some big heat shrink over it, and then kind of cut out the hole for the for the switch. And that's what I did. Uh, currently, it's got this is like a three thousand, yeah, this is a three thousand milliamp, um, which is overkill for these fans. I'm actually going to swap it out. I got some new 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 uh, batteries. Uh, I actually got a good price on them. I'll I'll mention that in a second. Um, so looking up at, I, I used like digikey.com, digikey.com, D-I-G-I-K-E-Y.com. And they have a, um, not a voltage converter, what's it called? Uh, a calculator. Um, so it calculates how much power is being used by the device. And I calculated it for the fan, which is 0.13 amps. And then, uh, then you put in the, the uh, milliamp hours on the battery. And then, so all it does is it calculates it out and this was like 24 hours. Of course, that's not taking into account whatever little juice this uh, voltage booster uh, uses, but you know, 24 hours, that's, that's more than enough for whatever. So even if it's 20 hours, uh, that's fine. But what I did was I got this pack. And if you're looking for a pack of inexpensive batteries, this was, um, uh, these are 850 milli milliamps, which is not, I ideal for most things, but it's sufficient for this. This should be like six and a half hours, unless you uh, figure the uh, booster in, which you, I guess you need to. I don't, I don't know what that amp pole is. So I figure, you know, at least roughly six hours out of this thing. But the nice thing is I got this big pack for like 24, 25 bucks for five of these. Um, so typically they're around 10 bucks each. So yeah. So that's, that's not bad because then I can just carry some in my pocket and uh, swap them out if I need to. Um, yeah, so that's, that's the build here. And um, yeah, hopefully it works out for you um, and is helpful. If it is, give a thumbs up. Feel free to subscribe. Uh, take care. I'm out.